Okay, well, it's about minus 10 outside, I guess. But got a day off, so I gotta try and get some of this van done. I'm gonna lay down some um, reflective insulation first. Um, no point, uh, I don't want to put the like the two by twos like some people do and then an inch of styrofoam. Just don't think I need that much insulation. This will work. And a half inch plywood, then my laminate. It's going to be about an inch and a half before it hits the metal anyway. And all these little grooves, the reflective over it will be storing, it'll be a, like an air barrier. So I think that'll keep it warm enough. Use the wood stove or whatever I'm using for heat here and uh, keep it warm enough. So to cut it in, get it all laid out. But I think I'm going to have to run to town. Don't think I have enough of this. Well, you know, one step at a time, we'll get it. You can see it's laying down. Um, I was wondering if I can be able to just lay across because I want to put my bed across this way, you see. So, when I lay down, Just enough room. Time I have my bed up here, you see. And I can just uh, have a pillow here. Be good enough. Because I gotta run it this way to save space. This way it'll take up too much. It's gonna work. It's heating quite nice just with this little heater. Just took about half an hour and it's uh, definitely uh, very comfortable. So when I get along here, I got this hole that was already here. I think it was from a, maybe the gray water drain or something. I'm going to cover it, but I'm going to mark it in case I ever want to run a hose out or a drain or something. That would be easy to get access to it. Coming along, but i got to run to town and get some more. Another 25 square feet. Then I'm going to get some of that silver vent tape to make it look nice and pretty. Not that you're going to see it anyway. Forks bound. Good old local home hardware. They should have what I'm looking for. Well, we got her. More installation. Tape. Even got a little thermostat to uh, see what the temperature's like in the van. Let's head her back and leave the beautiful town of Grand Forks. Get at her. Okay, we got her covered, insulated. Now time for a sheet of plywood. A little over four feet across, but that's fine. I'll put her one sheet, then I'll just fill in where I need. Already warming up, it's about 10 degrees. So the floor is helping already, insulating. And yeah, so I just got one full sheet of plywood in. And then I'm gonna use my handy dandy tool from Amazon. Link will be in the description. And when you get to a corner, like the wheel well, you just push her in get the angle you need you can lock it 
and then uh, move it on over to where uh, to where you're cutting. Should work well. Okay, it's working out pretty good. I got this side cut. Got a good fit along the edge there. Just got to use that jigsaw. Fit along here nice. And yeah, so now I'll move on to this side. I've got to fit this one in. And hopefully I got enough for the end. If not, I'll have to go get another piece of plywood. We'll see how it goes. Okay, got it. Got the plywood down, half inch plywood. And uh, next will be the linoleum, I mean the um, final plank. I'm going to glue it down. So I'll glue over this plywood. And then that'll uh, be all solid. Floor is about five, a little over five, about five and a half by ten. So it's quite a bit of living space. Well, we'll see you on the next one. Over and out. Be sure to subscribe and like.